infectious, baby. I love this shit. you call lone wolf I like to walk alone I go hunt for the feeling I thrive out on my own look in my eyes look at the prize look at the mm, yeah, mm, yeah. heart in my chest holding my breath I'm addicted to the game Hi, my name is Zach Robb, AKA The Stash Squatch, here with Lone Wolf Custom Gear. Uh, I'm from Virginia, and uh, I, I build houses for a living with the family company, Robb Construction. And I'm 28, born and raised right here in Central Virginia, hunting the mountains. Um, got into bow hunting after actually having some kidney issues and having to kind of quit uh, sports. I was gonna go play college football and had to abandon that. So that's that's when my dad bought me my first bow and it's been an addiction ever since. I have a three-year-old daughter and a one and a half year old son. And both of them are getting involved in the outdoors and love to come out and enjoy the woods and look for deer and squirrels and some fishing too. I'm married to my beautiful wife, Savannah. Um, She's also into the outdoors, and this year she took her first deer with a compound bow. So that was pretty exciting for us. Getting into our hunting season, um, I had a couple good bucks up in the mountains that I kind of figured were still around and I was gonna get into. Uh, it wasn't until about September I finally located some, some shooter class deer, um, both of which were probably 140, 150 level deer. Um, and I was getting pretty excited for that. Balancing the work life and everything, I didn't quite find enough time to put together that full plan for the first two weeks of bow season um, and actually kind of second guess myself and started hunting a big community scrape when I should have stuck where I, I had seen the deer. Um, that kind of spiraled downhill for me here in Virginia but I did get to go on my first out-of-state hunt and first public hunt um, with a good buddy named Jordan Pope. All right, we're about to leave out of the Squatch Palace right now, headed west to Illinois. First time hunting out of state. So um, we'll see what all happens, but I'm looking forward to it, excited, and got some good company out there, and hopefully some good bucks. It was a long drive, worked a full day, and then uh, got after it, made the 10 and a half hour drive to Illinois. So waking up here in Illinois, we're gonna go to Walmart and get our tags. Just kind of checking the fields out as we go, but hitting this piece of public, do a little scouting this morning. We scouted in the rain the whole first day and put on a lot of miles. And after each of us split up and covered probably about 80% of that property, we didn't have much luck uh, in finding what we wanted to find, so it was a little discouraging. All right, so we're still poking around. I've walked like four miles today. And right now I'm just kind of checking out fingers between cornfields and um, yeah, whatever's doing that, even if it's a spike, I'm good. All right, we're going in. Uh, I'm gonna set up in a uh, field kind of overlooking where I found that big rub and uh, do a little bit of an observation sit. Got a cold front coming in, the, the rain just stopped. So we're gonna hop up in a tree as fast as we can and be ready for them. Getting excited.
after two days of hunting, we were still kind of down. And if we hadn't had a cabin, we probably would have jumped and moved to a different piece. Um, I'd never hunted Illinois, but everybody thinks uh, you go to the Midwest and, and there are giants everywhere. I can confirm you still have to work for them. So on the second to last day, I scouted my way all the way to the back corner of the property and finally started seeing some truck hood sized ground scrapes that were fresh. I mean, there was still shiny uh, dirt that had been compressed by a hoof. <clears throat> so I knew that the deer were active in this area. So I set up for the one evening sit. That evening I glassed probably 40 deer throughout the whole field, um, three of which were bucks and two of which I would have considered pretty good bucks. As the night ended, um, nothing came in range, but I knew where I was gonna sit the whole day the next day. So bright and early, got up, had a meal shake, and headed the two miles back into the stand. Um, set up in my .75 with the mesh seat and a tall post. I was comfortable the whole day, a little hungry and a little grouchy, but uh, was just able to pull it off with two minutes of light left. here. It's my last full day here in Illinois on some public ground. I'm set up on the edge on the edge of some private with corn and then this actually the access road in here is tore up. It's the first spot I found that is tore up with big fresh ground scrapes. Um, so I'm just downwind of it. forward to it. There's already deer out in the field. Finally have some confidence going into a sit and uh, try to let it, let it eat.
pushed out of state, Buck. And he came in following those does. And I think I just put it right in the Let's go. We got five minutes of light left in this whole hunt. And I'm gone. Hello. I did it. Yes. You got yeah. Sorry, yeah. if you sent me a picture, I haven't even looked at my phone. Well, no, you it, can hear the chaos <laughs> in the house. It's last We're light. Having... Oh, my gosh. And I just, I just shot him. I think I sent you the video, but okay. um, it's not a giant. But for uh, for last light public land buck, I'm, I'm stoked. He jacked me up, so. Got great you footage. Are, are you so proud of I'm freaking stoked. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Yay, Jack, that's so awesome. Anyway, Yay. I'm gonna I'm gonna hang up, but figured okay. I'd let you know. <laughs> Have fun. Okay. Right. Looks like the book. Let's go. How about that? Oh man. First public land here, first out of state. Here we are, giant. The wolf is my name. One right here. Heck yeah. Got her hands full now. This is Andre Costo from Lone Wolf Custom Gear. I wanted to thank you for watching Whitetail Addictions and ask that you become one of our silent partners by hitting the YouTube subscribe button and following us on Facebook and Instagram.